again, friends. Welcome back to Miss Wick Cup Story Time. I have another story for you, and this one is pretty exciting. It is called Roller Coaster, and it is by Marla Frazee. I'm really excited because spring is finally coming, which means that Miss Wick Cup can finally get to Cedar Point. It's my favorite place. I love riding rides and roller coasters. It's so much fun. Roller Coaster by Marla Frazee. All of these people are waiting in line for a roller coaster. Most of them have ridden on lots of roller coasters. Some of them have only ridden on a roller coaster once or twice. At least one of them has never ridden on a roller coaster before, ever. I think it's that little girl in the front. The roller coaster is very big and very noisy. I was telling some friends today about how I love the details on this picture. The author and the illustrator did such an amazing job adding so many details. There's even tiny little people. There's a little guy painting the roller coaster in this picture. It's really cool. You must be tall enough to ride the roller coaster, but sometimes even those who are tall enough decide that they don't want to go. Lots of people change their mind about riding the roller coaster at the very last minute. If you zoom in, you can see that there's two people that just decided, I'm not going on this roller coaster. Why do you think that they don't want to go on the roller coaster? Hmm. Finally, it is time to get into the cars. The ride operator says, load them up, two to a seat. When everyone is buckled in, the operator rings a bell and then he releases the brake. The train jerks forward on the tracks. Now it is too late for anyone to change their mind. Oh boy. I wonder if anybody wants to change their mind. I wonder if anybody's scared. Slowly, the train is pulled up the hill by a chain. Clickety clackety, clickety clackety, up, up, up. And then, what do you think happens next? That train goes all the way to the top of the hill and then, whoosh. Most people scream, some people can't make a sound and one person can't even open her eyes. The train zips. It zooms. It dips and dives. a fast roller coaster. This is my favorite part. And it goes all the way around. I thought it was super cool. The author wrote the words going upside down to follow the track of the roller coaster. Isn't that cool? Now, the ride is over.
Most of these people are dizzy. Some of them have wobbly knees, but at least one of them is planning to ride the roller coaster again. Who do you think is planning to ride the roller coaster again? I think I know. Right now. Did you guess the little girl? Me too. She really liked that roller coaster. Isn't that a super cool book? Roller Coaster. It's by Marla Frazee, and I got it at my library, and I bet you can too if you want to find this book. We used this book to talk about small moments in our class. We talked about how you can have this big, giant trip over spring break or vacation and all these wonderful things, but sometimes you just want to write a story about one of the small moments on that trip. And so that's what we're using actually in our writer's workshop and we're using this book to help us talk about it. So pretty cool, kind of a cool glimpse into this book and into kindergarten. I hope you liked this story and I'll see you next time. Bye friends.